to TV5 News at 9. So spring is a great time to refresh our diet and experiment with new meals to keep us healthy and keep us ha ha happy. And joining us this morning to tell us more and how we can do just that, celebrity chef Carla Hall. Carla, thanks for being here with us this morning. Hello, hello, hello. Spring has sprung. Look at my table. I know. We're so excited. So today we are talking about how to incorporate oats into our daily meals. So the first question we have for you today, Carla, is, you know, we're all familiar with like oatmeal, but how can we incorporate oats into our meals outside of breakfast? So here I have like a triple berry smoothie. Everybody is making smoothies, but one of the simple things to do is to add the whole oats because it's fiber. And I have a recipe, but you can add it to your own, but this says the blueberries, the blackberries, the strawberries, and then it has a banana in here, and then water and ice. Really simple, but mm -hmm. that adding that whole grain is really gonna sustain your blood sugar level. So this, this I love, and I do this when I'm judging all the desserts. Yeah. Now. This is a good one. Uh, it's a good one, right? Yeah. Uh, do you like meatloaf? Yes. Okay, so I am a huge fan of meatloaf. I love the texture of meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Here I have meatloaf sliders, but I haven't done a loaf and then sliced it. I have made the meatloaf with the oats and I take oats and onion, celery and carrots, puree them with all of my seasonings with onions and then I fold that into the beef mixture but it doesn't have to be beef it could be chicken it could be turkey and so and then I make it in a sheet pan and then I cut the squares out so you're not making individual pieces mm -hmm. and then for the spring I have taken just a regular pesto a fresh pesto that you can get at the grocery store mm -hmm. I add peas to it whiz it up in my food processor so now you have this very springy pesto with the spring green so now your meatloaf Yum. is ready for the spring and has fiber if you could smell this right now i know you'd be smacking somebody's mama <laughs> no that's right <laughs> it makes us wish we had smell a vision so i can only imagine how amazing it tastes carla so we know about like oat milk but what about oat flour those are things that can also be used for baking does that like impact the way that your dessert comes out or tastes no, so the oat flour, you're not adding additional gluten necessarily, so it adds a really great texture. I have I have swapped it out with some of the flour in cakes. Here I have like these oat bars, so you can you can swap it out. It doesn't really change it one for one, um, but you still need sometimes the other flour. But the texture, the sweetness of oats is wonderful, and that's what it's going to give you. And you're adding that whole grain. Yeah. So that's why and pancakes, beautiful. Mm. Malted oat pancakes, what? With bananas sautéed, what? We have none here to show you, oh. but I'm telling you. <laughs> So good. One of my favorite things. But here, so in adding here, I want to show you, this is a key lime bar. Mm. So we have the oat crust. So it's like a shortbread, but it's crunchy on the bottom and chewy in the center Yum. that you have that key lime there. But then on top is the crumble with oats, coconut, and macadamia nuts. And then you have the flex of the lime zest. It is so good. But you're getting all of that... <clears throat> texture of the oats mm -hmm. and this is why it is just such an ingredient it's such a wonderful ingredient yeah. that it is i've been singing the praises of i mean i'm telling you friend you have been my friend <laughs> <laughs> and you know what my, i think a lot of us don't think of oats as being such a, an ingredient that you can use in so many different ways uh so also tell us what are some of the health benefits of putting oats into our meals well, one of the things that I know, because it is a whole grain mm -hmm. and it is a fat soluble fiber. So when I am having it in my smoothies, it is also prolonging the um, like how you're how you're processing your food. Mm -hmm. And so you're not getting those spike levels. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the things just adding that fiber that your body needs mm -hmm. is, is and it's just seamless when you're putting it in other things. And you know what, Carla, you kind of have like convinced all of us, I think, so far of why we need to cook with oats. But tell us, why do you love cooking with oats? My grandmother, mm -hmm. my grandmother had her rolled oats every single day. I watched her eat it. And so then I started having oats 
every single day. Even when I was doing my show Chasing Flavor, I traveled with packets of the oatmeal and a, and a kettle, and I would make my oats, and I also had cinnamon. So it is, it's, it's a brand that I trust, a brand that I've been growing up with for decades, and it's really that connection with my grandmother. Like, yeah. every time I have oats, I think about her. And you know what, Carla, you gave us so many awesome recipes from the meatloaf to the oat bars to how we can actually put oats into our smoothie as well. Where can we find these recipes at? Well, these and more, you can go to QuakerOats.com and you will be amazed at the mm -hmm. plethora and variety of recipes that you find there. Well, Carla, you were just so much fun. We appreciate you so much. Thank you. Good yes. to see you. Yes, good to see you too. All right, so you can find more information in the hot link section of our website, WNEM.com.